Hi children, welcome to class today. Our topic today is proportion. We will learn to determine an unknown value using proportion. Okay, what is proportion? Okay, proportion is a comparison between two numbers. According to proportion, if two sets of given numbers are increasing and decreasing in the same ratio. For example, let's say to bake a cake, we need three eggs. How many eggs are needed to bake two cakes? So one cake needs three eggs. Okay, and to find the number of eggs for two cakes, okay, so we need to multiply. So 2 multiplied by 3, we need 6 eggs. Now look at this example. This is the recipe for a bate cake. Anissa wants to make 2 bate cakes. What is the mass of butter for 2 cups of cooking chocolate? Okay, look at the recipe. To bake a cake, Anissa needs 1 cup of cooking chocolate. For 1 cup of cooking chocolate, she needs to use 200 gram of butter. The cup of cooking chocolate is increasing from 1 to 2. Now, from 1 cup of cooking chocolate, to get 2 cups of cooking chocolate, we need to multiply with 2. So, 1 cup of cooking chocolate multiplied with 2, we will get 2 cups of cooking chocolate. So, same goes to butter. 200 gram of butter multiplied with 2, Anissa need to use 400 gram of butter. So, the mass of butter for 2 cups of cooking chocolate is 400 gram. Okay, next, what is the mass of Mary Biscuits needed when 300 gram of butter is used? For 200 gram of butter, we need 600 gram of Mary Biscuits. Okay, so we find for 100 gram of butter first. Okay, 200 gram of butter, how can you get 100 gram? You divide by 2. 200 gram butter. Divide by 2, you'll get 100 gram butter. So when you divide 200 gram butter with 2, we need to do the same operation for 600 gram of Mary biscuits. So for 100 gram of butter, we need 300 gram Mary biscuits. Okay, so from 100 gram of butter to 300 gram butter, we will multiply with 3. So, do the same operation for Mary Biscuits. 300 gram multiply with 3, we will get 900 gram. So, the mass of Mary Biscuits needed when 300 gram of butter is used is 900 gram. Okay, now let's look at example 2. We have 1 kilogram of green beans cost 8 ringgit 50 cents and we have 1 kilogram of barley cost 7 ringgit 30 cents. Okay, calculate the price of 2 kilogram 400 gram of green beans. Okay, 2 kilogram 400 gram, we split them 2 kilogram and 400 gram. Okay, now let's find for 2 kilogram first. Okay, the cost of 1 kilogram is 8 ringgit 50 cents. So to find the cost for 2 kilogram, okay, 2 multiply with 8 ringgit 50 cents, we will get 17 ringgit. Okay, now let's find for 400 gram. Convert the unit first. Okay, convert 1 kilogram to 1000 gram. Okay, the cost for 1000 gram is 8 ringgit 50 cents. Okay, so find the cost for 100 gram. 1000 divided by 10, we will get 1 
100. Okay, so do the same operation for 8 ringgit 50 cents. We divide with 10, we will get 85 cents. Okay, so now to find for 400 gram, we multiply with 4. Okay, so the cost for 400 gram is 3 ringgit 40 cents. Okay, now total up the cost of 2 kilogram and the cost of 400 gram. So the price of 2 kilogram 400 gram of green beans is 20 ringgit 40 cents. Okay class, that's all for today. Till we meet again. Bye.